hi viewers i hope you all are doing fine today we will solve sums related to the topic trigonometry so what is trigonometry the word trigonometry means measurement of triangles six trigonometrical ratios are sine cos cot sec cosec and tangent so these are the six trigonometrical ratios so let's solve the first question of trigonometrical ratios topic from the following figure find the values of sine cos cot sec c cos c and tan c so this is the figure they have given us in the question right we have to find out the values see this is this is right angle triangle right what is hypotenuse hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle right angle triangle is called hypotenuse right so this is perpendicular and this is base according to the angle a right they have given us the value of perpendicular and base but they didn't give us the value of hypotenuse we have to find out the value of hypotenuse so how will we find we'll find out by applying the pythagoras theorem so to find out hypotenuse according to the pythagoras theorem formula the formula goes h square is equals to p square plus b square this is the formula to find out right now we have to find out the h square h square is nothing but hypotenuse p is perpendicular and b is base so we have to find out hypo hypotenuse the value of hypotenuse we don't know it's h square only let us keep it h square itself p square is here this is the perpendicular we ha they have given us the value of perpendicular the value of perpendicular is 3 plus the value of base is 4 4 square 3 square now h square will take it down as it is is equals to 3 square 3 3 is a 9 plus 4 square is 4 4 is a 16 right we will put here 16 so h square is equals to 9 plus 16 gives you 25 right square root of 25 why square root because they are we are solving in squares right now h square is equals to what is the square root of 25 5 5 5 is a 25 so the square root of 25 is 5 so our hypotenuse is 5 so the value of h here is hypotenuse is 5 so we found out the value of hypotenuse now let's solve the questions sine cos a cot they have asked us to solve this trigonometrical ratios let's solve the first trigonometrical ratio what is the first one sin a so what is the formula the formula to find out sin a is c this is the formula table see sin cos tan cosec sec cot now sin the formula to find out sin is p by h the formula to find out cos is b by h tan is p by p the same way cosec is the opposite of sin cosec is h by p sec is h by b cot is b by p so p is perpendicular b is base and h is hypotenuse so the formula to find out sin a is p by h p by h is perpendicular by hypotenuse so sin a is equals to p by h so here they are asking us sin a so this is the angle here right the angle the opposite of the angle is called the opposite side of the angle is is p right p is nothing but perpendicular see this is base in the question but here they are asking us sin a the value of sin a so they are asking us the value of angle a right so the angle a the angle the opposite of the angle is called perpendicular so this will be the perpendicular and this is the base so your perpendicular is 4 the value of perpendicular is 4 and hypotenuse is 5 so 4 by 5 is our answer here the sine a is equals to 4 by 5 now in the in, what is the second question they are asking us cos a so the formula is of cos a is what cos a is cos is b by h b by h is base by hypotenuse so the value of a base is 3 so base is equals to 3 hypotenuse is 5 3 by 5 so the cos a is equals to 3 by 5 now third question what is the third question the third question is cot a okay the formula to find out cot is 
b by p the opposite see this is called right b by p b by p is base by perpendicular b by p cot a right so we will follow this only this is base and this is perpendicular to find out the value of a it, the, the base is this and the perpendicular is this so cot a is b by p b is 3 so the base here is 3 right 3 by perpendicular is 4 so cot a is equals to 3 by 4 is our answer now what is the fourth question sec c right fourth one is sec c c here we got the value of angle a we are done with all the a's now we have to find out sec c cosec and tan c right so we will draw another diagram it's not given in the question but just for the understanding purpose we'll draw another diagram here the same diagram a b and c here this is right angle triangle now they are asking us to find sec c right the value of c so the opposite see this is the longest side of the right angle triangle so this is hypotenuse and the value of h is hypotenuse is 5 itself that's nothing here only the base and the perpendiculars will change so angle c so the opposite angle of c the opposite side of angle c is perpendicular so this is perpendicular the values will be same 3 here and 4 here and what is this this is base so this is perpendicular and this is base so the formula to find out sec c is h by b hypotenuse by b so h by b hypotenuse the value of h is 5 the value of b is 4 the value of base is 4 so sec c is equals to 5 by 4 now let's start we'll find out the fifth one the fifth one is cosec cosec c so the formula of cosec c is h by p hypotenuse by perpendicular h by p so here the hypotenuse is 5 is equals to 5 and the perpendicular is 3 5 by 3 so cosec is 5 by 3 cosec c sixth one is tan c right so what is the formula to find out tan c the formula would be p by b right tan is p by p p by b tan c is equals to p by b what is p by b what is the value of perpendicular 3 right 3 by b b is 4 so 3 by 4 is our final answer so this is the solution of the first question now let's solve the second question given sin a is equals to 3 by 5 find tan cos a we have to find out tan a and cos a right so here sin a so what's the formula of sin a sin a is equals to p by h right the formula is p by h so here p is equals to 3 and h is equals to 5 see we got the value of p and h c p is equals to 3 as as per the arithmetic rule we will put here k 3k and hypotenuse hypotenuse h is equals to 5k now p and h we got we got the value of perpendicular and hypotenuse what is base base we don't know we have to find out the value of base here so to find out the value of base we'll apply the pythagoras theorem formula so we'll apply pythagoras theorem formula the formula is h square is equals to p square plus b square h square is 5 right 5 square is equals to p perpendicular is 3 3 square plus b we don't know we'll put here b square itself now we will take this so here we will put a k here according to the arithmetic rule we have k here so 5 square 5 5 is at 25 25 k is equals to 3 3 is a 9 9k plus b square now we will take this b square down here b square is equals to we will shift this 25k here 25k 
minus 9k. We will change the signs. Now see, b square is equal to 25k minus 9k. 25 minus 9 is 16. 16k. So, this is the square root, right? Now, what is the square root of 16? See, b base is equal to 16. The square root of 16 is 4 because 4 fours are 16. So, our base is equal to 4k. So, now we know all the three sides. P is equal to 3k. H is equal to 5k. And B is equal to 4k. Now, we will solve this question. First, they are asking us to find out tan A. The value of tan A. The formula to find out tan A is P by B. We will follow the same formula. So, tan A is equal to P by B. What is P here? P is 3. Is equals to 3k. B is 4k. 3 by 4. 4k. Now, we will cancel this k and this k. So, tan A is equal to 3 by 4 is our final answer. Now, let us solve the second one. So, the second one here is cos A. The formula to find out cos A is B by H. B is base by hypotenuse. Base, the value of base is 4k. 4k by hypotenuse value is 5k. 5k. Let us cancel the kk and what is left? 4 by 5. So, cos A is, the answer of cos A is 4 by 5. So, these are the answers. So, this is the solution of second question. Now, let us solve the third question. Sin 30 degree, cos 30 degree. If the, you do not have any sign here, you will assume here as multiplication, right? So, to solve this, we do not need any formula. We just have to learn the table. So, where is the table? The table is in our textbook, right? So, here, this is the table. So, here, sin 30 degree. What According to the table, what is the value of sin 30 degree? Sin 30 degree is half, right? So, we will put here half. Into, if there is nothing here, we will assume here as into. Cos 30 degree. So, cos 30 degrees. So, the formula of cos 30 degree is root value root 3 by 2. So, we will write here root 3 by 2. Now, we will multiply. So, 1 into root 3 is, we will get root 3 itself. Root 3 by 2 into 2 is 2 twos are 4. So, our answer is root 3 by 4 is our final answer root 3 by 4 is our answer now let's solve the next question cos square 60 plus sine square 30 degree 60 degree and 30 degree so first cos square 60 degree so cos 60 degree is half so we'll put here half the whole square plus sine square 30 degree right so sine 30 degree is also half itself. So, half. Here also we will put half itself. Half the whole square. Now, we will do the LCM here. See, first we will multiply. 1 1 is 1 plus 2 into 2 is 2 2 is 4. Plus here also 1 1 is 1 and 2 2 is 4. Now, we will take the LCM. So, the LCM of 4 will get 4 itself. Right? 4. 1 plus 1. LCM is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So, 2 by 4. Now, we will do the cancellation. 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4. What is left? 1 by 2. So, our final answer is 1 by 2. So, this is the answer of the fourth question. So, that's all for today. I hope you all liked the video. If you found it helpful, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching.